I think this woman really wanted to kill me. Why me all the time? Let's rewind to about two years ago. Where's my mole at? Because I need to rewind. I can't find it. Let me try this. Got it. So let's press this here rewind button. Once again, don't press the sleep button, all right? Like, don't go to sleep. Just stay awake. The year was 2014. It was a summer night, around 9, 9.30 p.m. And I was driving home from my friend's house. I was on the freeway, and when I went to go exit the freeway, I had noticed this middle-aged woman had been following me. And let's just say middle-aged in this current situation was anywhere from 30 years old to 100. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how old she was, but she was definitely someone's mother, possibly someone's grandma. So when I went to go exit the freeway, I noticed she made the same turn as I did, and every single time I would make a lane switch, she would make sure to get right behind me. Honestly, at first, I didn't think much of it. I just thought maybe she's going the same way I'm going, but she had followed me for eight miles, and that's when things started to get a little weird. So I began to speed up trying to evade her, meaning I was speeding up to trying to lose her, trying to get her off my back. And then she would do the exact same thing, which is speed up with me. Listen to this. I even did a U-turn and she did the exact same thing. And at that point I was like, all right, I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna knock some dust off of her and go on my way. However, I continued to try to give this woman the benefit of the doubt. So then I began to think maybe she's just trying to tell me something. Maybe my brake lights are out, my tail lights are out. Maybe there's like a dog on my trunk or something. But no, 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 that wasn't the case. It feels like I'm filing a video police report. So then I just got over the situation. I ignored her. I pulled inside of the McDonald's parking lot to go into the drive-thru and I noticed she was no longer behind me. And at that point I was like, thank God I'm free at last. You're like my little hotline bling dance. Now this is where things got a little crazy. Tell me why I was in mid order, right? Since I'm here, you know, let me go ahead and get like a 20 piece nugget with the McDouble plane. I look into my side view mirror and notice the car pulled up behind me. Then I look into my rear view mirror and notice it was the same woman that was following me all this time. I already had it in my mind that I was gonna be on World Star the next day. I was ready to just treat her like a pinata. Nah, I wouldn't do that, that's mean. But still, I was really freaked out and I really wanted to react to it, but ooh, ooh, react. Don't use that word react. Sorry, Fine Brothers, hey, don't take it down my channel, all right? We we good. But instead of causing a scene, I think I did the right thing, which was just act like I didn't know what she was doing, act like I didn't know she was following me the entire time, just act like I was just, I was playing it cool. I wanted to think so bad, maybe she was just as hungry as I was, maybe to her, I looked like a 10 piece nugget with, with like a sweet tea or something, I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So I pulled up to the window, I got my food and I left. So when I left McDonald's, my house was really, really close, like half a mile away from this McDonald's and I definitely wasn't gonna go home because I didn't want her to follow me, even though she was still in line. I just, at that point, I was like, this woman teleports, I'm not messing with it. So instead of turning down my street, I did a detour. So I went up and did like a big lap, basically. I went like two miles out of my way, but it was so worth it. Cause I, I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want her to kill me. I didn't, I don't, I don't know what she, I don't know. People these days are crazy. So I, I didn't know. So I made it home. Nobody followed me. I pulled right into the driveway, parked right behind my mom's car, like on a hill. So nobody driving by could see my car. And I was, I went inside and I was like, I'm good. I'm alive. Perfect. So there I was in my room, eating my food, watching Sports Center, and then I got a phone call from an unknown number. And now I usually never, ever, ever answer unknown calls, but because the night was already so weird, I was like, what else can happen? Let me pick it up, let me. I answered my phone and I did not say a single word, but I heard someone breathing really loud. They didn't say anything. They were just breathing. And then they hung up. When I sat my phone down, honestly, I was scared, man. I was like, all right. Where's my Bible? I did not know what to think, but I know I wasn't leaving my house that night. I know I have a license to carry a weapon. I know I got a Glock 40 in my room. I know if anybody comes in, self-defense, I'm gonna cap you. It could have been anyone that called me, but I just, I just had a big feeling that it was her. Like, <sighs> it sounded like the hash slinging slasher. I never seen her a day in my life. I don't know, just talking about it right now kind of makes me feel weird considering there's a big window right here. She's probably watching me. There's woods, right? Oh man. I barely got any sleep that night. And after that night, I never heard back from that lady again. I never got a strange phone call like that ever again. I never seen that car, nothing. She just like vanished. It, mm, I'm home alone, man. Hey, when are you coming home? 
If you guys enjoyed that story, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for emotional distress. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because I love you and you love me. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every single week. And before you leave, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment box below telling me what you would have done if you were in my situation. And just tell me any type of strange stalker story that you may have. And don't forget to check out the description box to follow me on my social media, to check out my vlog channel. Just, you, you know what to do. So that's all I have for you guys this week. So until next week, just remember, I'm only here to save your Monday. It's starting to get hot. I'm sweating. I'm about to go play in the snow. Nope, she probably watching me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Why me all the time?